Today I've got a little bit of an update for you. Um, if I start coughing terribly violently during this video, I apologize. I'm still not over my cough, but I'm getting better. That's the important part. I have been slamming uh, zinc-infused emergency like it's my job. That's actually not true. I only drink one a, uh, a day because more than that isn't actually helpful for you. <coughs> the majority of it gets flushed out of your system anyways. I digress. Today I have an update for you. It's really just an update around um, my schedule and um, what I'm going to be doing. Ever since I got sick, I've been finding it incredibly hard to stream. And so I haven't been doing a whole lot of that. Um, and just as I'm getting better, I'm going to be leaving. I am actually going to be um, traveling up to Boston for the subscription summit, which I'm really excited about. I'll be, <coughs> excuse me, I'll be presenting there. And then um, I'll be hanging out in Boston for a few days with my family, which is really fun. But if you're going to be at the subscription summit, I'd love to meet you. After that, we're taking a week uh, to spend some time as a family together. Um, I'll probably still upload videos during that week uh, just because they're fun. I like doing them. Um, but I'm really hoping <coughs> to get some time to sort of relax away from the, the rush of regular life. Um, but then we'll be back. And I'll be hanging out, working hard, trying to get as many um, books done as possible before I go to Origins in June. And so I'll be at Origins Game Fair in June. Um, it's a pretty cool convention, uh, game-oriented. And I'll be going there with Zero Strategy Games, um, a game company that I co-founded. And we'll be presenting uh, not only games that we've already released, the Battle Mage Farmer module for D&D, but also a brand new game called Shuffle Dungeons that we're really excited to bring uh, to everybody um, later this year. I think it'll be coming out in July. Uh, but we'll be demoing it at Origins. And so if you're in that area, if you're um, planning on attending Origins already, or if you're not, you should definitely come by, <coughs> say hi. I'd love to meet you, for real. Um, and then I'm going to another <coughs> conference in the middle of July uh, called Realm Makers, and I'll be there for a couple of days. Um, but then the big one is actually in, um, in August. I'll be going at the end of August, beginning of September, I'll be going to Dragon Con. Last year was my first year at Dragon Con, and it was just an unbelievably fun time. Um, man, it was packed. It was so busy, but it was really fun. I really enjoyed. I think the thing I enjoyed the most about it was the opportunity to meet fans, make uh, you know new friends, and engage with people who really love lit RPG. I was stunned at how many people enjoy lit RPG and how many people were there specifically looking for books. It was really encouraging to see so many people stopping by the Athon booth. I was there with Athon Books, who's um, my one of my publishers, and I'm I'm really excited to go back. Um, I think it'll be a, a really good time. Uh, this year, I will be an attending professional, which means I'm going to be on some of the panels, and um, I'll be available for meet and greet and stuff like that. So, uh, if you're planning on attending. Uh, Dragon Con, then definitely come and say hi. I'm just always so excited to meet people. Now, if you aren't on the East Coast, I know most of those are East Coast events. I am going to be going to an event in Las Vegas uh, towards the end of the year in November. And I think it's um, the, the 11th through the 15th, I think, are the dates for that convention. Um, and there, and now that is an author specific convention. So if you're an author and you watch this channel, you should absolutely come. It's called Author Nation. Um, it's a takeover from the 20 books to 50K event. And of every convention and um, event that I've gone to, 20 books to 50K, and now I'm sure Author Nation have had the biggest impact on my career, hands down. The people I've met there and the training that I got early in my career really helped set me up for success. And so if you are an author 
who watches this channel, I cannot recommend it enough. Really come to this event. Uh, I know I know it can be hard to swing sometimes because it's fairly long. It's, you know, it's a whole week. Um, but believe me when I say it will be worth it. Um, I'm applying to I'm applying to speak at uh, Author Nation because I think it's important to give back. You know, when you've benefited from a community, it's just so vital to give back to that community. But um, even if I'm not, uh, even if they can't fit me into the schedule or I'm not a good fit for what they're looking for for this year, um, I'll be there and I'll super happy to have conversations, super happy to just talk shop and, uh, you know, um, share my experience. So if you're going to be at Author Nation or if you weren't going to be, but now you're considering it, definitely, definitely flag me down and say hi. Um, and then if you're not an author, but you're a reader and you're sort of in that area or, um, or close by, the last day of the convention, Friday, they actually have a reader-centric event called Rave, where um, all of the authors set up in the convention center um, in uh, the Horseshoe, which was formerly Bally's. Um, and people can come in and buy books and, you know, talk to the authors and, and do meet and greet and stuff like that. And I am pretty sure that I'm going to be setting up this year. I haven't in the past few years, um, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be setting up this year. So definitely come and check that out. And then also, um, finally, last but certainly not least, I'm going to be going to PAX Unplugged, which is actually local to me. Uh, so I'm in the greater Philly area um, and PAX Unplugged is in Philly. Uh, in Pennsylvania, and we're going to be uh, there again, demoing games and um, and selling games as well, because we'll have multiple games with zero strategy games that are already finished and released and ready to go. So that's just sort of a snapshot of my schedule for um, this next year. Oh, I forgot an event in September. If you're in the Lancaster area. Uh, so Lancaster, Pennsylvania, it's where I live. Uh, I'm actually doing a local book fair here in Lancaster, and I'm really excited for it. It's called Books, 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 and it's just a whole bunch of local authors who are getting together to sell their books and to chat and to, you know, get to know one another. And so I'm really excited for that. Um, and that's in September. I'm going to try to put a schedule together of all these events that I'm doing. Um, and I'm sure there will be more as the year goes on. I do know that I'm I'm hoping to put together some really fun live events um, for fans to t talk about some new releases that are coming up. And I'd love to be able to do that. Um, I'm not 100% sure if they're going to be live streamed or there'll be um, actually have like a, a um, live in person component and then also be live streamed. I'm not sure the exact details yet, but more information will come on that soon. Um, but one of the things that I love about being an author is meeting people who share similar, uh, similar loves to me, right? I love fiction. I love fantasy. I love sci-fi. I love, um, building and exploring worlds. It's just so fun to meet other people who share those similar passions. So I would love to meet you. And if you can make it to any of these events that I'm going to be going to, you definitely should. You should definitely stop and say hi, um, and uh, introduce yourself. I would love to meet you. All right, I've said that like a million times now. Anyway, that's uh, a rundown of my schedule for the next year. Um, when I'm not doing those things, like when I'm not at those events, I'm just gonna be writing like a maniac um, as long as this cough eventually goes away. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be my life. Writing like a maniac and then going to live events and meeting people. And to me, that seems like a pretty good life. So I hope you're doing well. I hope you have not caught a cough like me. Um, hope you stay healthy and I'll see you in the next one.